So in this clip, we'll be talking about the production possibility frontier and the concept of opportunity cost. To start out, we'll make a few assumptions and uh, outline a few uh, <coughs> definitions. So let's begin here with uh, the kind of economy that we're talking about. First, we have one country um, one factor which is labor and with that one factor that uh, economy can produce two goods namely guns and or butter so we could have called these two goods anyway and we just chose guns guns and butter in order to label them second uh, of course that economy with that one factor faces a labor constraint so the time spent per day or per year on producing guns and on producing butter cannot exceed the total labor time available over that period and uh, we'll make the assumption that over that time uh, we in fact have full employment so that no resources go to waste all labor time is used up third uh, we can describe the technology that's available to uh, that factor uh, technology with which uh, either guns or butter are produced which is uh, fully described by that uh, lowercase letter a as the uh, labor input requirement LIR which is equal to the units of labor, the hours of labor required to produce one uh, unit of output Q which means of course that we can write those labor hours as the product of A and Q and it means of course as well that the inverse of A is equal to labor productivity so with these assumptions definitions laid out keep that relationship in mind and we'll go to a new page and uh, derive a graph first let's rewrite the labor constraint so if we have LG plus LB equal to L we can write AG QG plus AB QB equal to L and solve that algebraically to get a linear relationship between QG and QB that as you can verify is QG equal to L over AG minus AB over AG times QB so let me just highlight that a little bit here that is the uh, production possibility frontier in the form that we can easily easily graph so if we put QG on this axis and QB on this axis then suppose QB were just equal to zero then this point here would, bust L, uh, would be L over AG and vice versa we have a point here L over A B and we can connect these two and get a downward sloping linear function with a slope of minus AB over AG so what are uh, opportunity costs? opportunity costs describe what you have to give up to gain something else so here you'll have to give up guns in order to gain butter and in fact the opportunity costs are to gain one unit of butter um, are exactly AB over AG so the opportunity cost of one unit of barrel of butter is 
AB over AG guns. Is that clear? Well, let's try to make it perfectly clear uh, with a numerical example. Uh, let's say that we have L equal to 10 hours and we have AG equal to 2 hours so it takes 2 hours to produce one case of guns one gun and it takes 1 hour to produce a barrel of butter with that we get QG equal to 10 over 2 minus 1 over 2 QB so let me flip back I'm just substituting the numbers in this relationship here and that's of course 5 minus 1 half QB so let's draw this so guns on this axis and the butter on this axis then if we were to produce zero butter we'd have five cases of guns if we have zero cases of guns we'd have ten barrels of butter so we have uh, again these two points and a linear function with a slope of minus one half Again, the idea of opportunity costs. What does it mean in this context? Well, the opportunity cost of one gun, or one case of gun, uh, nobody can read that. Two barrels of butter. And B, the opportunity cost of one barrel of butter, one stick of butter, is a half a gun, or a half a case of guns. So you'll have, you'll have to give up five cases of guns to gain the ten, and that's the slope. So you can see how the slope here, as drawn, indicates the opportunity cost of butter in terms of guns and uh, principally that's it that uh, describes the production possibility frontier which is this linear relationship derived from the labor supply constraint in a one factor two good economy with a full employment assumption and how that then relates to the idea of opportunity costs.